Two weeks ago, I upgraded my editing PC with the EVGA Supernova GA 850 watt power supply. The Rosewell Glacier 500 watt power supply went into the junk box. This week, I cleaned up my test PC by replacing the power supply, an air cooler, and installing Windows 11. Cleaning up the hardware was more impressive than installing Windows 11. If you haven't seen my previous technology videos, a link to the playlist is in the description below. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. My test PC was long overdue for a cleanup after I set up the electric Magic ATX open air case a year ago. I started off by removing all the old stuff that will go into the junk box. The first item was the Corsair CX500 500 watt bronze non-modular power supply. I pulled the Corsair out of my editing PC when I got the Rosewell as a $25 Black Friday special in 2018. The Corsair got bumped from my PC for the second time in seven years. The second item was the ADATA 120 gigabyte two and a half inch SATA SSD. I replaced the SSD with the Team Group M.2 128GB NVMe drive earlier this year. The third item to go with the Deepcool Gamax 400X air cooler. This air cooler may end up in my FreeNAS file server when I upgrade the motherboard next year. With those three parts removed, I cleaned up the test PC. The attachment plate on the horizontal frame held the power supply in place. That didn't prevent the power supply from moving around when I moved the case. This time I used the bracket for attaching a hard drive or radio on the bottom frame to prevent it from moving. I ran the motherboard and CPU power cables up the front of the vertical frame. If I ran the cables in back, I wouldn't be able to lay the case down flat on the felt strips. Since the AMD Athlon 3000G processor had built-in graphics. I needed only those two power cables for operating the test PC. If I have a video card that requires PCIe power, I can plug in the PCIe cable. For working with SATA drives, I could plug in the power and data cable. Since I'm a big quiet fanboy, the Pure Rock Slim 2 air cooler went back on the Athlon 3000G. With the quick release clips on either side, I can remove the air cooler to swap in another air cooler and or processor. I did a clean installed Windows 11 official release that came out this week. Before installing Windows 11, make sure you have the CPU TPM support turned on in the BIOS. Without this setting turned on, the installer won't install Windows 11. For AMD systems, the setting is FTPM. For Intel systems, the setting is P. TT. Check the motherboard manual for how to access the setting. I downloaded the MediaCon creation tool to put the Windows 11 installer onto a USB stick. Since I did this on the same day that everyone and their grandmother downloaded Windows 11, it took forever. That shouldn't be a problem today, since this is a test PC. I made three slight changes that a typical user won't do. Didn't enter a product activation code. Selected Windows 11 Pro to install. Created a local user account. And inactivated Windows install will have limited features and won't receive security update. None of that interferes with tests and hardware or software. If this Windows install gets stale, I can reinstall Windows 11. I'm not impressed with Windows 11. The performance improvements between Windows 10 and Windows 11 on current hardware or minimal at best. Windows 11 might be better suited for the next generation of PC hardware from AMD and Intel coming out next year. With Microsoft ending Windows 10 support on October 14, 2025, I'm in no rush to upgrade to Windows 11. That's it for today's show. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching.